one I was um, also interested to hear. Oh, by I think the way, I got to shut up. Uh, that food mixed with that microphone is 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 tough. It's very intense on the ear. <laughs> so, <laughs> if there's a way to I'll, like I'll put move the microphone away, yeah, I'll move the microphone away. it was. Uh, sure. I was trying okay. to turn up my speaker because Robert's mic was so low, and it was. Uh, I, you know, it was good. I, I liked hearing your tongue flick against noodles or whatever. But uh, you know, it was a. Uh, you know, I, I was. Uh... <laughs> okay, fair enough. Okay, okay, cool. But the food is busting, by the way. It's really good. This beef is amazing. Uh, I, I can. It. Listen, I can hear. All right, we're gonna go C four, uh, mm-hmm. and we're gonna hopefully not go to Armageddon. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I expect okay. time to move. E, I expect D five. Is this gonna happen yeah. again? Like we're gonna get a forty second game aborted and then. Maybe I don't know. I I, th- I think they'll play. I think they'll play. Um, they'll play something like I probably like night of six. So I'm guessing. That's oh, gonna right. be so. Sorry. Sorry. It, it's late for you. That's like it's like lunchtime here, but for you it's like late. I forgot. Yeah. Uh, are they gonna abort? This is so stupid. Is it gonna happen again? Probably. Oh my god. What it. Hello? Oh, they made a move okay. finally. Okay, let's go. Let's beat them. Knight C3? Yes, sure. Absolutely. There's like some meta strategy as to what whether you should play knight F3 or knight C3, but I like playing knight C3. I well, knew it. You said, you said they play King's Indian, so I assume this means you have some great prop. Uh, well, not necessarily, but uh, I'm going to go... Uh, go for it. Do you care about E4 or D4? I literally don't care. All I right. mean, I've probably played every every line with white and black in this position. I mean, multiple times. We can, but I, I don't know that line at all. I know that is a I line. I played C5 against Hikaru, well, not with G6, but long, long time ago with E6 and C5, not G6. But let's get into the King's Indian. Let's Bishop okay, G7. BG7, yeah. Okay, because Hikaru knows all these lines, right? Yeah, but I mean, uh, he doesn't know everything. That's true. He just knows many, 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 many things. I mean, the thing is, C4, E5 is also very theoretical, and I, I don't want to get into an unpleasant position. Levy also knows C4, E5 really well. So Yeah, that's true. We just saw you know some big games with like pawn sacrifices. I think that was Ding against Jordan von Forrest and Bike and Zay. And so listen, also I, I think if we go out, if we lose, we go out in style. We got fighting for a win. I, I, I don't want to do an Armageddon again. I, I want to win or lose. Yeah, you know, the only thing that I feel like we have to worry about is if we get into some super sharp line, but then also Hikar prefers to be in the black side of these. Oh, H3. Okay. Um, so we castle. Yep, of course. Yeah, now Bishop E3 well, is very popular. Time. Of course, Bishop G5, I don't remember. Yeah, so here, Bortnik and I came up with C6, which is a very rare move. Okay. But very interesting. Let's do it. C6, right? Mm-hmm. That's going to be in our test. Right. Of course, now, of course, I haven't reviewed. I mean, I've forgotten everything, as always, but it's a very interesting move. And Hikaru definitely doesn't know this move. Wow. That's a big claim, but the fact that they haven't moved yet seems to back it up. So, okay, I'm, I'm happy with this. So, Danya, I said I didn't play the King's Indian, but when I grew up, I played the Pirates, which often transpose into King's Indian position. So, I do have actually quite a deal of experience playing positions just like this. And you know me, I just play the hippo and garbage openings in Blitz. Yeah, I mean, we'll I figure play, it out. We'll figure it out. I often play like E4, C6, D4, Queen, C7 on things like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. I mean, it's hard to punish. Now, there's a couple ideas here. G4 is the principled move. Knight F3, I think we go Knight A6, Bishop P2, E5, and it's just a position. Yeah. Um, and the point is we want to go E5, E takes D4 because this structure is a lot better when white has a pawn on H3. Right. Um if G4, they... the move is C5. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's knight A6, bishop B2, E5. Done. Okay. I think that, like Levy said, you playing quickly can make them believe that we know all the ins and outs here. Yep. Well, I actually do. I mean, I I, I have spent a lot of time on this position. Okay. But so bishop I, I, E2... My memory for openings is really bad. Bishop E2, E5, D5, knight H5 is the line. Okay, but bishop E2, E5... Oh. Okay, wait, bishop d3 is odd. I don't think that's a great move. I think we still probably play e5. So e5, d, uh, d, knight is e5. Yeah, e4? knight e4. Yeah. Um, I think we start with, let me think. There's also knight c7 and b5, but I think we go e5, d5, knight h5. 
and we attack. Okay, so e5. Yeah. Cool. I'm sorry no, if I, I messed I, something up. No, that, I knew you were going to apologize. That's why I was like, okay, knight h5. <laughs> okay, it was a pink book with Kasparov's face. It was like all his kings and eight games. And like when I was really young, I had this magnetic chess set with like the piece that you move. And so I would like look at the book, make the moves on the board. And, and um, that's actually one of the ways that I learned the opening, which sounds just like absolutely silly in 2024. But back then, it wasn't so crazy. Uh. Against this, do you do you castle or should is it worth playing g three or is f five way too dangerous? I believe that in this position, if you play g three with the bishop on d three, it's not correct. With the bishop on f one, g three is always a line. I mean, I'm pretty sure you're just supposed to play like. I think you're supposed to castle into it, but I could be crazy. I think with the pawn on c seven, it's very dangerous. But I think with the pawn on c six. F5 is not supposed to be great here. I think if you castle F5, there might even be C5 potentially. That's another thing that I've learned with using computers over the years. All these big attacks that look really scary. They're also very rarely actually scary if, if you know if, if you know what you're doing. Like when I was young, I would have yep. thought this was great for black. I, I always tend to think this is like great for black and blitz games un until it's not. And then you realize that you uh, you could have done a lot better. Okay. Um, okay. Obviously, you don't take the knight. That's a big yeah, mistake. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's I, I mean, but do you care about the bishop? Like, is a3 before something? Is, is what is, uh, do you... I think... I, the pawn on, I'm trying to remember the pawn structure, the pawn on c6 versus c7. My instinct is that bishop c2 is correct, but I think a3 is also playable. I think a3 might be actually completely acceptable here because a3, of the on c6. Knight d3, queen d3, f5 is, is never and a concern, b, yeah. And, and I think you just go b4. I don't think this is scary. Like, it looks very scary optically, but I think it's supposed to be good for white. Yeah. I would, uh, I, I would not care if my bishop got taken, but I'm... I don't know. And there's no, there's never anything on h3 because we can. Uh, I feel like we've played this move every game we've had white in this event. Uh, King h2, yay or nay, like ever? Depends on what they do. My, my instinct is that probably nay. I mean, the only word, because also if you go King h2, there might be g5, g4 without f5. I mean, but this is clearly a Dania. I mean, Robert does yeah, not yeah. play. Indian. Yeah, that's what Robert I that's what I figured. That's what um, I that's no. what I figured. Um Kings and E is a great opening as long as you get to attack. But when you don't get to attack, that's when it becomes uh very annoying and it's not fun at all. Because you, you go into the game playing Kings and E ready for an exciting game, and there are many ways your opponent can just play a very positional line and you don't get an attack, and then you're just wondering why did I do this? I still feel like below 24, 2300-ish area. Uh, it... G5 is positionally very dangerous. No, let's take on D3 and play C5. Sound yeah, good? I think that's that's fundamentally sound, yeah. I, I'm, I'm like... Careful, Bishop G5 would be in the Naroditsky move. <sighs> this isn't bullet. Dude, I do that, and then I'm like, why does everybody hate playing against me? Well, you know the answer. I do. I'm dirty. You're a nice I, guy. Bro. I acknowledge it. I'm I'm dirty over the board. Wait, so so Daniel, so B four, do we maybe. take right, or do we just play B six, or, or we F5? can play actually F five, uh, B C F four is a is a common idea in these lines. That looks like it works because we take on C five with the knight, and or they have to sack a piece. Obviously, after F five, knight G five is is annoying, but we have F four winning a piece, and even if not, we always have knight C seven. Right. Also, B four B six does not look all that bad either. No, not at all. I I like our position a lot. Yeah, me too. I like our clock even more. Okay, okay so well, knight... f five, f three, or do they? Hikari usually takes and goes f four. That's his style. No, that looks wrong in this position. That's bad with the bishop pair. Yeah, I think we should just go f five. F three, f four, bishop f two, g five. I mean, is the classic king's Indian approach, as you know. Right. Classic, classic, Cla classic, logical. I mean, I did, I did, I did stu study. So we're just completely fine. And mainly, yeah. I think we're completely fine because the knight on a six is wrong. If the knight were on f six here, I'd be very scared. But I think the knight on a six here is a big liability in the long term for black. But we'll see if I'm right or I'm wrong. 
because you're going to go B4 at some point. And this is also very nice. It's a very free-flowing position. Like, black has one idea, but your idea is simple. Like, if they go F4, rook up, F4, bishop 2, G5, rook up B1, H5, king F1, G4 takes, takes, king E2, you're playing for B4 and playing on that side of the board. Yeah, I like that's that's it, it actually does look terrifying, but as long as you know rook fb1 and then put the king on e2, it's uh how do they even like what do they do? I don't even understand. Like it looks really nice for white. I mean, I I do to won a game like this last year where mm -hmm. he did exactly this. I can't remember if it was like European Blitz, European Championship or something, but that's exactly how he won. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I, I think it's it's completely acceptable. It looks really scary, but the knight's just on the wrong side of the board. But again, if you don't play the King's Indian a lot, you're probably not going to know that. But because I play the King's Indian so much, I just know that the knight's just way off sides on a6 here. So, see what they do. Let's see, let's see. Dang it. Yeah, and then if G before we up B six, I mean, worst case we can yeah. also go. We can also go Bishop F six, Bishop H four. But that's like the, for playing for a draw. Yeah, no, I'm just, he, look, we're just going all out for the attack. Right well, I don't care. He Carter doesn't like being attacked. That's the one thing we know that we're going to get chances here for a win. Okay, okay. they're going to run their king probably at some point. He tried, uh, right? Why not? I'm not afraid of B four. I think I think we're good here. But well, maybe no, G four. They want to Robert. They, okay, whoa. G four. I mean, take six, six, king e2 they want. Wow. That is bold. Or they want um, just like take twice on g4 and put a knight in f3. Yeah, not but that's question. not out of the question at all. We hmm. could also just play like knight c7, pawn b6, and just like run our knight around. We could do that. And we don't have to rush with g4. Right. What do you think about knight c7 before b6? Like, I'm not scared. Of, BC, BC. Or, or, no, or BC, BC, DC. DC and 98, 98. Yeah, and then we have to be careful about A4, A5. But... Yeah, but that doesn't scare me. No, I, I like 97. Like, we can also play Rook F6. Rook F6. Mmm, like... but then B4, I feel like, meh. No, B4 doesn't have a threat. That's my point. Like, Rook, Rook F6, F6 or G6 B4. you want to play. Yeah. Okay, and then if G4 takes takes King E2, what's going to be our follow-up? I haven't got that far. Ah, uh, maybe rook G f6, rook h6 also. Yeah, we can we can figure that part out later. Okay, let's go try rook f6. Or do you want to play like b6? Knight c7 before b6. Hmm. Is that too conservative? Yeah, I want rook f6, right? Okay, let's do it. Let's go for it. You think that's good? I'm not sure. What's your what's my other move candidate again? Knight c7 before b6 is also available. Yeah, but then they go a4. Yeah, it's too slow. It's too slow. I think we got to try rook f6, and we yeah, got to we got to move faster. Yeah, they don't have an attack, dude. Like, yeah, exactly. Got... Yeah, just king e2 because now they lose g4 too because g4 you bishop h4. Ah, uh, yep. Okay, so what? Rook g6, obviously. That right. But the point, point is, but the point now after rook g6, rook h1, g4, you can maybe even just take and go bishop h4 again, or even if you let them get g3, they're too slow now on on the on the king side. I think. Yeah. No, I mean, this looks very strange to me. This doesn't look right at all. Um, to me, like, mm -hmm. now that we're here, uh, I, I mean, okay, so I was going to say, like, G4, HGHG, and just fighting for the rook, uh, for the H file at some point in the future also looks okay. But I don't um, know, no, no, but if you go B4, G4, we're in trouble. I mean, we're, we're, we're in some trouble, I think. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I, what I don't understand here is after rook h1, I mean, do they really want to trade all the rooks off? Like, I, I, that's why I, I don't understand this at all. Rook h1, yeah. Yeah, rook h1, and what's the big deal? No, because um, I was going to wait for g4, take, take, rook h1, but I guess you're saying after that they would trade, play g3. Well... No, after rook h1, they would... Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe we could have done But if you play b4, we're rook too slow, because... Yeah, because yeah, the rook can't guard everything. But I, I was just wondering, like, we had to do something, so rook h1's probably fine. And now... No, now... But but, but now you know what, what they're kind of... Now there's a question here, which is... Do you want to try to win the game? Uh, Preferably. <laughs> okay, then, well, then there's another idea here that they probably aren't aware of, which is you can play rook g1 here... 
followed by Rook A G1, followed by G3 potentially. And try to attack on the king side now. Oh, this I is, like this, that. Because now, 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 again, the knight on a6 is out of play, and they're they're like you know what it is? it's completely different. There's a game I played against none other than Anish Giri and Reggio Amili in 2011, I think it was. And I, I got the same sort of thing where it was a King Zidian, but his king was on the king side. And there was some moment where he was supposed to go King H1 and G3, and I, it was completely fine because I didn't have a knight on the king side. Now, it's different It's different because the king's in the center of the board and the knight's on A6, but it's very reminiscent of there's no knight on the king side in this King Zidian. So this idea of playing G3 and trying to take, take the bull by the horns actually makes a lot of sense here. Knight C7? I mean, their only plan is Knight C7 and A6, B5, right? Like, that is it. Well, I mean, they, they have a choice. Well, the thing though is G three G three is very scary here, though. It's like G three or G four, like because knight c seven G four. Then you're threatening to maybe even go H four at some moment too. So like, you're saying, so you're saying, if knight c seven G four for us is is okay, because if they lock the, I'm not worried about that. All right, queen f six. I'm ahead. not too worried about G three. I think G three have G rook G three. We got to play fast though. Yeah, I agree. What if they put G four right. here? G four have F G. I think still have G. Yeah. Hmm. I have G rook G three. Let's think. What do we do? We just slide back. Right. No. After. But yeah. Because there's no. There's no knight getting to f four. So. Yeah. Yeah. If they take, you take rook f eight, bishop e three, rook g six, rook h g. I mean, it looks good to me. I, I would play it. You're gonna get content. I think. I think you're gonna get a rook sack. Maybe. No. That's that's you know that's all that's all we need. Uh, why g four and not g three? Out of curiosity. Like, maybe I'm an them... idiot. Maybe I'm actually an idiot. Yeah, I, I think maybe that was better. But but here you're threatening to play H. Okay, Rook G3. You're threatening to play H4 anyway because take six and the knight goes to F3. Yeah. Ah, uh, do you mean Rook sack as in like for the light squared bishop and then put a knight on F5? Like is that? Yes. <laughs> or or put a bishop. Yes. I mean, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you figure okay. it out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's pretty gank. You mean? I mean, you would play H four. You wouldn't go Rook G four right away, but I mean, that would be sort of the, the point. You know, funny thing is, Rook G four right away is probably okay. Actually, it's probably H4, the top engine move. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. probably like the top <laughs> move of the engine. Um, that's funny. No, I think it's it's quite quite okay. Wow, man, they're making such odd moves. Like to me, it's pretty... that. yeah, let's do it. We could also play G four right now. I think. HG, HG, Rook, H6, Bishop, H6. Yeah. yeah. FG. Eh. Rook, F, Rook, F8. Rook F8. Knight F3. Knight F3. F3 huge. I think Rook G6 may be a smart. Oh, I'm not sure, but Rook. Wait, so Rook F. What were you saying? Eight. G4, H3, HD, Rook H6, Bishop H6. Wait, Rook F8. Yeah. So Rook, Rook G6 we... or G4? Well, G4, they also G... Bishop E3. Yeah. Or no, Bishop E3 Rook G8 though. Rook G6 though. But G4 oh, HG yeah. HG Rook takes H6. Did we refute that? Bishop H6. G FG. I'm like I don't know. Rook F8 Queen. Knight F3. Then Queen F4 G5. I don't love that. It right, does. Should we, do? Should we go Rook G6? G6? I'm not sure I but like I yeah, let's feels go Rook G6. Scared, but I feel like it's okay. I don't know. Knight D1, like, Rook, is also a thing. Yeah, Rook, Rook G6, Bishop E3, G4, HG, HG, like Rook F1. And then our Queen's in the line of fire as well. That's true, but then Queen H4. Such a critical moment. We got to move, though. Uh, your call. I think Rook G6 is my move, but G4 is, is very interesting. Yeah, but interesting is a bad word now. Hmm. Rook F8. I, I don't see... I think Rook G6 we should go. Wait, wait. G4. G4 H takes, H takes, H takes. Rook H6. Yeah. Queen H6. FG. Queen H4. Oh, Knight F3. Bishop takes G4. Ah. Okay, let's go G4. F it. Are you sure? Takes, 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 takes Queen H4. I'm looking, I'm looking. Queen F3, Rook F8, Queen G2, though. Hmm. Um, I don't know, man. Rook G, G4, HG, HG, Rook H6, Queen H6, FG, Queen H4, Queen F3. Rook F8. We, oh, Queen G2. Yeah, they're hanging on by Bishop, a thread. Huh? Bishop G4, let's do it. G4, G4, go. Are you sure? I, I'm not, but who cares? No, I'm going Rook G6. We spent way too much time. I feel like we, we, did. we wasted 
too many precious seconds. My bad. That's me. That's so I guess the idea is they want to play G4. Now, question is, if you go knight D1, G4, H, D, H, D, knight E3, Rook F8, I mean, at the very least, you have knight F5, and you can never lose the game. So, I, I mean, to me, knight D1 looks like the obvious move here, but... Again, it's your your call. I would play an ID one here because basically the point that I that I that I'm envisioning, like in my mind, is I'm envisioning that if you get a knight to f5, even if they win a pawn, you can pop the other knight on e4, and then c5, d6, and g5 are all very very weak. And any alternatives to knight d1, like just rook g1? I'm worried that or... rook g1, they're going to go rook f8 followed by g4. That's what I'm really worried about. Like I feel like we desperately need to get the knight over. Like, I feel like everything here is move by move. Um, I mean, okay. again, it's your call. But I think 91, 93, 9 of 5, and you can never lose at the very least. Yeah. I've just, I want to sit on my hands for a second just, just to throw out if there's anything else. There's just been moments that I'm like, okay, I can play the move. That Hikaru said, but maybe maybe there's an idea we're not seeing. But no, I, th yeah. I think Rook G Rook G one Rook G one Rook F eight Bishop E three is playable. The the reason that I the other reason I like Knight D one Knight D three Knight F five more is because it just takes any chance of us missing something tactical out of the equation. That's the reason I like it more. It's not so much that it's the best move. Like I bet that Rook G one Rook F eight Bishop E three G four H G F G F G Queen H four King D one is okay. But again, yeah, there there is some risk there that we could lose. And also the other thing that I think I'm very good at, um, not to toot my own horn, is like in a position like this when you're way up on time, one of the things you want to do is you look for good moves, but also moves that there aren't like obvious replies to. Like they don't get to just play every move in like five seconds, like obvious moves. But if you see something else, just tell me what you're thinking. No, I mean, yeah, my, my only suggestion was was going to be there, there, Bishop E3, G4, but that that is total chaos. I mean, at that point, I will be doing a lot of holding hands uh, as opposed mm. to... Yeah, I mean, if if knight d1, and there's no knight d1. The one that I was saying, yeah, it was knight d1, rook f8, knight e3, g4, h, g, h, g, knight f5. And I, I just don't see how you can ever lose that position. So bishop f5, um, ef, queen f5. Queen f5, takes, takes. Trade, fg. Probably, probably you take with the rook or the pawn, I don't know. I think you probably take with the pawn, and then, well, there's rook f4, maybe. Rook g4, rook g4, takes, takes, e4. Okay. Rook f4, rook g1, e4, bishop. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's good, though, because you, you trade all the rooks, you go rook g1, and then bishop e3, and you can't... I don't think you can really be in any danger there, but... Your call. Yeah. Um, I think both moves are fine. Rook g1, rook f8, bishop e3, g4. We can... Um, yeah, I... Uh, simplicity is, is good. I am... Um, I would also like to play the practical move as opposed to just sending us into the chaos. Because the point is, like, this light square bishop is terrible. Like, unless you can get the diagonal to bishop on g4, this is just terrible. Okay. Yeah, like, 93, of, I mean, only move, of course, because you've, you've already done this. Yep. Now, g4, do we have any... We can't take fg. Well, you could play knight of 5 Well, knight of 5 is going to be a transposition, probably. Yeah, I was thinking, like, do we have hg, hg, Rook g1? Rook g1, maybe? Yeah, hg, yeah. hg, rook g1, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Somehow reverse it back on them. Yeah. I'd have five take. Let's go to yeah. knight c7. Yes. Because rook g1, h4 now, and h3 is loose in many of these positions. Yes. And knight f5, do we take everything? They're gonna. That's yes. what they're going to do, I, I think. And we're up a pawn. Yeah, we could also play b5, by the way. We could. There's no threat. But b5 so b also doesn't really threaten anything. Knight f5, b5. What if they play b4 here? Hmm. g4? Yeah, it's getting really dicey. b4, g4. Knight f5. I don't know. Bishop f5. Takes. Takes. b4, b6, maybe? Yeah, we could just go for that, but then... Hmm. B4, B5 is not out of the question. No, BC? I was calculating that. BC, DC. Knight F5. I like B4, B5. It's getting wild. <sighs> okay, they're going to go Knight F5. What's our move if Knight F5? Why can't we is just it take B... it? Sorry, what was it? Takes, 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 Knight E4. Um, B5. B3. A5. A4. Takes, takes. Takes something and rook B8. Oh, yeah, rook's on F5. We can't go rook yeah, B8. Yeah, 98. I mean, 
Knight f5, b5 is also interesting. Okay. Oh. Wait. So eight, what if we go h4, h4 knight, knight g4? Knight g4. Knight g4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, but then we move our queen and then play b5. Oh, and we've closed the center, haven't we? Yeah, I like it quite a bit, sort of. Yes. Should we just play b5 first? Do they want h4? No, then g4. But then we go g4. Yeah. B5 or? B5, h4, g4, knight f5. Yeah, then we can just take it. Like, I'm not okay. so worried about that. Do it. They're going to go b3 and then h4 or what? Okay, let's see. B3, so a... <sighs> H4, G4 is clear as a response. Yep. Oh. Okay. Very chaotic. How, what about A5, Bishop E1 with the idea to play H4? Like, is that stupid? I still think G4 is going to be a big... Because basically after G4, there's always Bishop H6. Like, it might be um, fine if we look at move by move, but conceptually it's dangerous. So it's like a situation where conceptually it feels wrong. Oh, they, oh, they went for this. Okay, well, I mean... Rook G4? Well, you have knight g4, rook g4. Both moves are playable. I mean, it depends how badly you want to win and how badly you want content. So, uh, would you play rook g4? If I were playing here, yes, I, I, I almost certainly would. Yeah. I mean, I. I mean, okay. you gotta go for content. This is not a serious event. You gotta go for content. I, I would go rook g4. The only thing I'm concerned of is a knight getting to f6 in the future. But I guess that's pretty far in well, the future. The, so. the question is that they take. Do we take with the pawn or not? That's also a big question that's not obvious. Okay. Just, uh, of course, you take with the pawn. I assume. Yeah, I also assume. Otherwise, knight b5 yeah. looks really yeah, bad. Yeah, no, this looks great though. Like I, I think positionally, this bishop on g7 is so bad here. <sighs> Okay, and now you take with the H pawn, I assume, and go knight f5. Like interesting. Not rook g4. I'm worried that on rook g4, rook b8. I mean, yeah, me, me too. Rook but... b8, knight f5. No, I mean it's very complicated here. Rook g4 is. I actually you know the more I look at this, I mean the thing is I'm worried that knight is going to get to h5. I really am. Yeah, I mean I would take with the pawn, go knight f5. I mean, and just play it positionally. Yeah, I mean uh... I, I think this is fine. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. You're not worried about the H-pawn. Well, the H-pawn's not really rolling, is it? I mean, is it? I don't think so. I mean, so. I, I don't know. Like, what do you want to play? Like, knight f5 is good. Rook b1's good. Um, knight f5 looks completely acceptable to me. Yeah, I, I like, I like I knight f5. And you would... Uh, we want that rook trade, yeah? Like, we're not... We, we, I mean, our rook's Depends. not going to come alive any other way. So. Long term, as I think about it, it's more the knight on c7 is very poor, actually. It's a very, very badly placed piece, right? Yeah. Where does it go? It's going to go to b6. Is that the idea? I'm, I'm wondering if you can reroute your, your bishop somehow, but I also feel like we have to move quicker. Like, I, I'm kind yeah. of wondering about like rook b1, for example. Yeah, I think rook b1 and then bishop e3, and just, and then it's, it's really hard for me to believe this can be bad. Really hard for me to believe. Take with the queen, yeah? Probably. Yeah. Yes, I think it's good. Yes, go, go, go. I'm just making sure we're not blundering anything. By the way, we have this plan at some point of rook f6, rook f7, knight move, rook b7. And that's why I like bishop f8. It solidifies everything. Yeah, but I just don't like our g5 pawn being so loose. I agree. Okay, speaking of, rook b6 is a move. We could also go knight a6, knight e8. Knight a8. Oh, knight e8, knight a8. Knight e8 knight to e8. g7 comes to mind. Oh, but then we can't trade. That's true. I like knight e8 anyway, though, kind of, right? Okay. Just solidify everything. Yeah? Now, what's our next move? Is it rook b6? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Or rook takes and queen b6, right? Queen b6, yeah, because that h pawn is, is, is a killer. I mean, we, like, I know we sometimes get worried, but there's no way we Do can... Do we go a6 back? and rook b6? Have a nice no, nice back go. Okay, go, go, go. Rook B1. Rook, B? Like rook B3. Okay, now what? Do we go knight knight e8 anyway? Repeat once. Knight e8, you said? Yeah, why not, right? They might go like queen B1. Or it takes, takes B3. Why are we scared of that? And then queen B6? Yeah. What about knight a8? I kind of like that. You do? Yeah. Mm. Okay, go. And the reason why I like I it know. is just that we can play queen b6 and take back with the knight rather than the pawn. Or... Yeah, but queen b6, queen, queen a4. Oh, good point, yeah. 
So queen b1, Sorry, do we go rook b6? Yes. Okay. a4, queen b8. I like knight a8. It's an interesting move. So they're going to move their king to g2 at some point. Mm -hmm. We need to get our rook around, but how do we do this? What's our next move? Is it like king h7, rook b7? Rook b6, that, that is? Can we go king h7 like rook g? Ugh, it's too slow. It's too slow. Yeah, rook b6 is a move. Yeah, rook b6 is always going to be a move. And then it's harmonious with knight a8, so... Yes, yeah, so we no, justify you, our move after the fight. Your move was good. I mean, your move was good because it makes them think. And we That's need to true. make this a time scramble. A4 we can take and go queen b6 because they don't have queen a4. Okay. okay now, Is they want rook b6, queen a5. Queen a8? Queen b8? There? Where? Queen b8 there. Rook b6, queen a5, queen b8. But then I take and put queen a4 at the end. Takes, knight takes b6, so we're okay. Okay, rook b6? Yeah, go, go, go. Queen a5, we also have h3. We also have queen c7. Queen c7, yeah, I like queen. Four, maybe? Queen a5, what? Queen a5, rook, queen b8. And then takes queen b6, queen a4. Yeah, I, I would just go queen a5. I would just, just go. Let's, let's just play quickly on clock. Yep. Let's try what to press some hard. Queen a4 first. Absolutely. Is there... Absolutely, I like it. Okay. Pre-move knight b3. Yes, absolutely. Because then the knight's going to a5 and c6, actually. Yeah. Your, your knight's getting very, very good suddenly. Um, okay, that's probably a good move. Um, I don't know. If I were playing, I'd probably go like king f2 or something just to make sure there's no there's no h pawn trickery somewhere, let's, but that's just me. Let's do that. That's fine. Yeah, I'm like... Okay, there's still no threat. I mean... Okay, let's think for a second. If you trade the rooks, how's he taking? He can't take with a queen. He has to take with a knight. Only move, and then queen a6. Ooh, this is looking very dangerous. I would trade and go queen a6. This looks very dangerous, actually. Okay. And I'm I like the reason I'm telling you it looks dangerous because now I think the knight's going in. I think your knights go. Your these knights are really good. Yeah, like queen a6 and the knight b3, knight a5, and I think it's very scary for black. Yeah. Very scary. Yeah, I was looking at queen c6, but I think it's way too early to trade. But queen c6. <laughs> It, it doesn't yeah. work, but yeah, it doesn't work probably, but you're right. His pieces are so cramped that it's very dangerous. Yeah, if this h-pawn is not an a I like it. And then bishop e7, seven, maybe? a4, yeah, if a4 you gotta be careful. Seven. Yeah, no bishop takes c5. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Knight c5 is a threat. So do we go rook h8? Or king h7? H oh, you want to make it safe? No, no, they're going knight a5, knight c6. We need to move. Do we go rook h8? And sure. rook h7 and queen c8, maybe. Yeah, that was smart. Wait, do we push h3 after king g2? What if they play knight a5 here? h3? King g1? Okay, we push h2, and then we go... Just do it if they play knight a5. Go h3, h2, gain time. Wait, why can't we just actually? Why can't we just play rook h7 after knight a5? Oh, you, you're afraid of losing that pawn. Okay, right, so you want to go rook h7? Yep. Yeah. Knight a5, do we go queen c8? Yes. Then queen b5. And then queen... Maybe, oh, but knight c6. Queen d 7 here? Queen d7, knight c6? Queen b7, yeah. Oh, so yeah. So queen that c8, actually, you think? Queen c8, queen b5, and like rook c7 or something? Oh, it looks ugly, but let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. No quarks. Queen b5. Rook c7? Can we do it? Wait. Rook c7, no tactics. Knight c6, what's our move? Uh, queen d7 or something. Oh, rook b7 there. Okay. Go. Knight c6, we can go rook b7. No, knight a7. Queen a Probably here it's better to, like, take a breather and figure out what, what, what do we want here is the question. Still not easy to break through. I mean, I still feel like king h2 and just, like, slowly trying to improve the position makes sense. But maybe not. I don't know. Queen d7, we just, we can... I see, no, no, I see. There's actually, yeah, queen d7 might be dangerous. Hmm. All right, we got to make a move. Easy. Yeah, I'm probably just go king h2 and just like, just go king h2 and just try to relax and, and keep the position slow. Like queen d7, knight c6, rook b7, queen a6, knight knight c6, of course. Yeah, obviously, yeah. yep. Is there like, can we go back and sack on g5? Possibly. 
Probably not, because um, takes queen e three, king g six. But it, it's an idea. No, because if you go back, there's knight takes d five. No, no, I know. I yeah, I'm just saying, I see that. <laughs> but like right now, queen b three, bishop g five. Ooh, now it's Ooh. check. Ooh, wait, that looks like a a four. How do you do it? A four, rook b seven is what they want. Yeah. But then queen a five, queen a six. Yeah. I mean, I, I I don't know. I feel like there's got to be something here that we're missing. But I, I would probably just go a four and just keep keep pressing. I think it makes sense. Can we bring the bishop back to like? Okay, I'm gonna play. Go to d two. Yeah. No, bishop like... d two was probably a good move. Ah, uh, maybe rook b seven still. Queen a six, I assume. Like. Yeah. I mean, knight knight a five also was just like a draw. I mean, at least right. Like. Maybe, maybe, probably not. Knight c bishop c five. Careful. But then maybe h. What do we do? Queen c seven. Do we make a wait? No, no, no. Queen c seven. A five. Knight d seven. Maybe. <sighs> Oh my gosh, we barely got the move off. No, we got we had time. A5, knight d7, yeah, knight, right? That's actually huge for us, hand the knight to d7. What's our next move? Is it knight d7, knight d7 anyway? D7. Yes. Oh, and then rook b6, rook c6 is a threat. Yes. Wait, I think they're in trouble. Queen a5, knight c4. No. Yeah, knight c4. Did we just trap their queen? Wait. We're running out of time. Oh, bishop a5 they want. Knight c4 oh, then, doesn't work. Knight d7, bishops a5. We can go rook b2 and queen b7 to that bishop d8, king g6. Um, you want to do it? Do it, do it, do it. We, we're learning how to yeah, yeah, we're Bishop a5, knight b8. Um, I think bishop a5, knight b8. Takes, takes. Uh, Wait, bishop, bishop a5, queen c8? Um, are there tactics? Uh, g3 there. Yeah, I like bishop a5, knight b8 is interesting. Yeah, you, you gotta go, you gotta make a move. Um, I don't know, bishop a5 is a move, but they've yeah. got rook b2, which is a big problem. King h3? Yeah, but then queen b7. Wait, what? No, no, wait, wait, this is the. Wait, 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 wait a second. No, can't you just take and take d6? I'm going for it. Yeah, okay, sure, yeah. I mean, it's the only try anyway, so pre move bishop d6, of course. There's no bishop d8, I guess, yeah, okay. Bishop yeah, king d6. g6. I mean, we have to try to use the pawns. I mean, it's probably is no good, but uh, let's see. Remove, yeah, okay. Um, what? Uh, I guess go to h. I don't know. I mean, it's uh, rook f two is not a problem. Takes takes. No, I'm worried about knight before. Actually, I, I have a feeling king. You have to go to one of the squares, and I don't know which one's right. Uh, I would yeah. probably go to g. I don't. I wouldn't go to H3, but just that's just my gut instinct. Let's just go to G1. All right. I figure out what squares the knights belong on here. Knight before is coming. Right. That is knight before, probably just knight f5, I'm guessing. I don't know. Yeah, we mess we mess this up. There's also knight e8 check, by the way. Yeah, knight before, probably knight e8. Yeah, knight before knight e8 is obviously the move, I think. Not obviously the move, but I'm pretty sure it's got to be the only move. Okay, 98. 98 of course. Yeah, yeah, go, yeah. Go, go, go. They might make a draw. I mean, they might yeah, make a draw. It's, they probably will, 96. Yeah. No, I think they might have to. Because if they lose e5 to the h pawn's not enough, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's very. King g6. 95. Ah, oh, no, it doesn't work. Where should we go? King f6. Yeah, King f6. King f6. I did, I did. I don't want to make a draw, though. Do we go king f7? Is that a repetition? I think it not is. Yet. Sorry. No, knight d6, I think it's third time. Oh, no, not yet. Oh. Wait, let's go for it. How? Do we go king, king, king f8, knight e5, knight c2? How about king g7, knight e5, king f6? Okay. Or king f8? No, let's make a draw. King g7. I, sorry. No. Yeah. Move. Okay, I played play for a win. Yeah, do it. I did, but I'm regretting it already. Now what? Do we go knight c2? Okay. <sighs> Danya, I went all in for you. We have to. Uh, who cares? Oh, do we go knight d4? 91? Oh, wait, but what does 91 threaten? I don't know. It's going to h3 at some point. I think we should go knight d4. Okay. Go, I'm go, go. We got no time. I'm worried about these two pawns coming our way. Well, um,. Do we have, we can give a series of checks, rook b1, rook b2, if you want, to buy us some time. Let's do that. Pre-move it. Pre-move, wait, 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 wait. 
Yeah. Wait, King, I'm not gonna pre-move. Don't worry. Hmm. Are you afraid that they're gonna go to e3 or something? No. Because they're not. And we can, F5 Robert, push. Robert, we always have the move knight e6 and knight f4. Right. Check. So check. Yeah. Gives us a little time. Now let's calculate. King g1, knight e6, you don't like. King g1, knight e6, d7. Rook d2. Knight e3 or something. Oh. King e7. So hard to calculate this. Do we go knight e2? Now? Wait, king f1. Can we do that? Should I throw the check in again? Yes. Do we have a win here? 96 we can try, but we can try 96. That's a repetition. 96, d7, rook b2. It's interesting. Do we go 96? Do it. Okay. I've won 96. Don't worry. Don't worry. Ah, crap. If I lose, I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. No, you're fine. You're fine. We're going for it, you know? Rook b2, right? If H, if they, I was wondering uh, if we could have taken on f5, by the way, but I... Oh, maybe we can, yeah. Pawn, no, gf. Yeah, too many pawns. No, we should have... We... Uh, it's still very tricky, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think we have to go d7, right? I mean, unless there's some other move that you see? No, I don't see another move. I mean, there's knight d7, too. Yeah, I... I okay. King. I mean, King G one, of course, because if you go forward, there's Rook D two. I mean, the knight, the, the Rook is the, the knight stopping the pawn temporarily. King G one, yeah. Mm -hmm. King E three, just they promote. I mean, there's yeah, no I way. Yeah, think it's H three, H two. There's no way, no way to save it. Uh, I assume F two is correct. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, I think F two is correct. King G one. Trying to think if there's any way not to make this draw, but I don't. No, but I mean, if we don't go to G1 or off, I mean, if we don't go to G1, we're going to lose the game, I think. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way to get rid of the knight on E6 for now. Okay. But they're, yeah, they're, just... very, mm -hmm. they're, they're very, they're very intent on playing on, so they might not even repeat here. So. Yeah. I mean, the problem is I just don't know how you're supposed to. Dropping more pawns? I don't know. Also, I don't... after rook b2, we can play knight yeah. f4 in some positions. Exactly. That's what I'm trying. What is our construction that's going to win? I I don't have that for you. Oh, wait. Danya. Oh, king to, d king to d6. King to d6. Exactly. King d6. Okay, now time's okay. evening up, too. Wow. Okay, what's our next move? What's our next move? Is it a6? Is a6, it a6 looks good to is me. Is there a downside to h3? No, a6, maybe. Yeah, their king gets closer to the pawn. Yeah, and we might if we lose the pawn, we're busted, so. Okay. Do it, 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 we go knight f4, or is, is there a downside to knight f4? Do we repeat once? Maybe repeat once? Knight where? Is there a downside to knight f4? Oh, sorry. Wait, yeah, I heard, wait, I wait, heard wait, wait, wait. Depends where they go. Yeah, repeat once. Check. I think so. It's not a repetition. Is there a downside to knight f4? Knight f4, knight e3, king e7. Knight e3, though, is annoying, isn't it? King e7, we put our king on d8. Oh, but knight d5 trades knights, and then we win. Right, yeah, knight f4? It's not bad. I think it's not. Knight f4? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, Danya. We're getting <sighs> great here. Knight e3, what do we do? Knight e3... King e7, King knight e5, seven. we trade. We trade, and that's just winning, right? Right, so knight e3. King, King e7, e knight f5, King e6. Knight f5, King e6, yes. What's our next move if they go King g1? Maybe we can give, we How can do always we give check. This? Knight e2, knight g3 also. But I'm not sure that's winning. If they oh, trade? Then we bring our king up. Yeah. I don't think that's they have actually, a move here. That's pretty huge. Okay, oh, so do we go king e7? King e7 looks good, right? Yeah, now knight d5. We take. King d8, king d8, king d8, king d8. That's fine. <sighs> knight d5, Robert. Do we take? Yes. E takes d5. What's our move? Uh, rook e2. Oh, knight f7 takes and rook a2, and we go for the a pawn? 
Good question. What do we do? Um, also, King D8 is a move, but I don't know about King D8. Let's take. I think we take it, right? Take, 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 take. No risk, I did, right? I did, no I did, risk. I did. Okay, so rookie to knight f7. Do we go? I think rookie two, right? What about rook a2? We have no threat. No, but, but, but no threat, yeah. So I think rookie, rookie two. two, right? Yes, d6, we have king d8. Knight f7, be prepared to take on d7. Yes. Knight g5, rook a2. Or actually, rook c2, no, no, then knight f7, king e7, knight e5. So maybe rook a2 there. Okay, so knight f7, king d7, right? Knight g5. Wait, what if they go knight c6, king 7 knight b8, king d6? Okay, what? Oh, careful, careful. Rook no, c rook c2. I just feel like we're going to lose some of these pawns while winning some of their pawns. Like rook e3. Wait, what? Okay, just knight, knight e f Oh, wait, 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 wait a second. e5 takes d6, king d8. No, there's no trick. So, yeah, I mean, I guess knight e5 back, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was just going to play it. Okay, knight uh, t3, yeah? Uh -huh, yeah. Well, if I know anything, they're not going to repeat, so. Yeah, so go back, of course. Because now they can't go rookie two, right? Because it's a three four. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean, what's the deal though? King g1, I guess? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't understand what they're doing, actually. I mean, I do, but I don't. Could we have played like a d6 and just kind of like, yeah. yeah, I don't know. And like some, I guess we just lose after rookie two. We can't defend our knight. Okay, so they go king d8. So there's still no actual idea, right? After king h1? I, I mean, I, I don't know. Like I play king h1, but that's just me. R yeah, okay. Rookie two, we still have the same knight d3. Also, knight f7 again. Like, yeah, at least this time we hit h3. I don't know which set of pawns is better to go after. I like. I... <laughs> okay, so now there's a question though: whether f4 is a move or not, or d6 is a move. Um, there's no stalemate, right? Just to be clear, yeah, no stalemates here. F4 takes g5, rookie two. I mean. Oh, you, you, you got to move, though. Just, yeah. I don't know which move it is. I, I mean, we don't have enough time, so I would just go for it. Yeah, I would play a 4 G5. G5 yeah, yeah, I guess G5. C3. G G6. Oh, uh, no. Rook C3, King H2. Rook G3. Yes, exactly. No so, exactly. Rook G2, right? so do, we, do we go Rook E2? Yes. Okay. I'm now, knight, sure we knight G4, F3, G6, Rook G2, Knight E5. Fudge. Oh, Rook G3 there. Wait, Knight G4... King d7? G6. King d7? Okay. Wait, here. can we go f3? Wait, 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 wait. F3, g6. F2. F3, g6. No, 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 no. Knight f2 then. What's the win? F3, g6, rook g2. F3, g6, rook g2. Is that not winning? What's wrong with f3, g6, king f3. d7? F3. Now g6, do we go rook g2 or king d7? No, why, why not rook g2 though? I don't know. Why not, why not rook g2? Just do g not go f2. 95, right, right, we right. have F2. 95, Wait, we so have F2. Rook, rook G2. G2. Do they have a move? Oh my gosh, we're threatening Rook G1 and F2, huh? And we're threatening F2 immediately. No, we're not. We oh. are not. F2. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. F2, is that... Wait, Rook G1 and F2. Wait, 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 wait. Rook G1 and F2, though. No, 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 no. Do F2. we want to go Rook G... F2? F2, go, go. Oh my goodness, Danya. Which queen do we make, Robert? H1. Now do not rush and watch for forks. I'm not rushing. Wait, H1. wait, wait, wait. H1, we win. H1, go. Queen, make a queen. Oh my goodness, Donnie, we got it. Wait. Do not pre move. Oh do not pass $200. F1 and queen F4. Queen F4. Don't mouse slip. Oh my gosh, I almost mouse slip. Careful, careful. Uh, pre move queen E5. I don't need a premium with 36 seconds. Right, we got this. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh. That was so nerve wracking. Oh my goodness. I hated every second of that, but I love it. Me too. It. I'm so sorry. I was, was so obnoxious. I was so obnoxious.